Hey guys, the objective of this video is to work out the equivalent hydrostatic force on a vertical tank wall. So the problem we have here is we've got um, a tank very similar to the tank we had in the last video and we've been asked to work out the equivalent force on this wall. So the wall, one of the side walls, whereas previously we worked out the force on this bottom wall, now we're going to work out the force on the side wall. And this is going to allow us to sort of look at um, uh, gauge pressure a little bit, in a little bit more detail and see how um, it varies with depth. So we'll start off by just looking at the gauge pressure formula. Just this um, gauge pressure is just equal to the density um, of water multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity um, multiplied by the height at which um, multiplied by the height of the water on top of it. So for this question, I'm going to denote I'm going to have a look at h equals h equals zero first, and h equals zero is is the water level. So that's all we're going to call h equals zero is the water level, and we're going to call h equals three point five as right at the bottom. So you can see that at the bottom we have three point five meters of water on top, and at the top we have zero meters of water on top because we're at the surface. So at h equals zero we get a hydrostatic, um, we get a gauge pressure of zero because there is no water on top of it. And at H equals 3.5, we get a uh, gauge pressure of 34.3 kilonewtons per meter squared. And this, of course, is a pressure. We could convert it to megapascals or kilopascals, but I'm going to leave it in these units um, because we're going to be turning this into a line load and we need to multiply by meters anyway. 